Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Today I'm following up on our Font Awesome tutorial and showing you how to add around almost 30 social media icons to the Divi Social Follow module. So we're going to actually be going in there and adding extra icons that do not exist by default in Divi. So you're not going to want to miss this. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so as you can see, we can add all kind of icons here in Divi. This is a screenshot of an actual, uh, my actual module in Divi, okay? So let's go down here and, and, and you know, we're going to be using Font Awesome. So make sure that you have that integrated into your website, either with the plugin or with the manual way, okay? And I just released, you know, this other quick tutorial on showing you how to add Font Awesome to Divi in case you haven't already had that. Uh, so that is the step number one. We're going to be using their icons, which are really great, okay? So that's step number one. And then once you do that, this is going to sound kind of funny, but go to the social media module and add an icon that you don't want. <laughs> and um, I'll just show you that. So over here in my little demo, let's add, it's called the social fo media follow. Okay, it's just called social media follow. Um, and you, it pops up automatically with Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so what I mean by adding something that we don't want, if you were to duplicate this or add a new network, let's say that I don't, well, I was like, I don't, I'm not going to use Google Plus. So let's pick that one. The idea here is that we're going to replace these icons. Okay, but in order for you to replace the icons, you first have to have one there to replace. We could actually add a bunch of these. And again, just things that we're not going to be using. I'm not going to use Tumblr. Uh, and then what we can do here is show you um, the what how the process is. And it's really easy, okay? Um, MySpace, really. Okay, so let's, let's just start there, okay? Let's start there. So if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely go over to our blog post because we're going to have a bunch of fun snippets here. Now, don't be alarmed. These are actually the same snippet. It's just I've labeled them. And then you'll notice a little bit of a difference in the code. I, they're not the same, but they're almost the same. So you'll see that it says something like ET-social-something. So this one's Facebook. Here you can see it says Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, etc. Okay, so that's the difference. And the reason I just listed them all out here is just for your convenience. So let's say we want to replace that Google Plus one, okay? So again, the step is to add an icon we don't want, okay? And then grab the snippet for that one. So we, we said we don't want Google Plus. So let's grab this snippet, okay? And we're going to go in here. And because I like to see it live, I'm going to do it in the page settings here. Advanced tab, custom CSS, paste that here. And nothing happens. Well, actually it does. It, it, it puts the, it, it thinks that there's an error here because of this. All right. That XXX was just a placeholder. Okay. That's step one. Now, what code do we want to put in there in its place? Okay. We said we wanted to replace Google Plus, but what do we want to put in there? If you scroll down here, this comes from Font Awesome. So um, I should probably show you real quick where these come from. I will here in a minute. So like WhatsApp, the icon code for WhatsApp is this F232. So we could copy that and we could come back here and copy that and paste in there. Okay. And you can see already it added the code. Okay. Let's just go over real quick and show you what I'm talking about there because there's going to be, I have a lot of the codes listed here. I mean, I just, I went kind of crazy trying to think of like brand and social media and icons like things that people are asking for a lot in the Facebook groups um, but you can you know use whatever you want so once you've added font awesome to your site it's all you'd have to do is go find one that's free okay and we could actually filter free just to keep it simple but I'll, I'll show you that one for example like we said whatsapp if I can even spell it okay so if I would have come here this is how I found it I would have clicked on this icon Okay, and then when that opens up, it'll give you the, like this little code. See that F232, and you can copy it there. And there's other things here um, as well, but that number there, the Unicode 
is what we're looking for. So you can do this to any icon that they have. Well, then, of course, you might be thinking, well, I don't want it to be red. Well, sure, you can go into the Divi settings here. It'll say Google+, Plus, but hey, go to the background and change it to your the green or whatever it is. This is my green, but um, what I usually do is just look up the collar. So let's just say uh, we say WhatsApp hex collar, right? Something like that. And then it'll it'll usually, you'll be able to find it somewhere. Um, here it says a couple of the greens. Um, you can see their hex collars here. Different websites have it. In fact, I think it was this website here um, had all of the collars. I thought it was really cool. You could just grab the hex collar here and then I could go back into the module. Um, where were we here? And then go in here and paste this and there we have the exact collar. I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, let me walk through that just one more time. So go to, like if you were in your theme builder layout or um, anywhere you want. And a lot of times I do like to just, like I said earlier, make this bigger. It's just a lot easier to see. And then let's say we want to replace the Facebook and we want to add, um, we want to use Yelp. Okay, so let's go here. I'm gonna walk you through every step. You go here, go to the settings, advanced tab, custom CSS. Um, just, you know, whatever you want in there. Okay, so now we need the Yelp. So you could go back here to this font awesome website and search for Yelp. Okay, there it is. Click on that icon. And then when this comes up, go ahead and just click here on the Unicode and copies it. So it's kind of cool. Go in here and paste it here. Okay, next step, I would go over to Google and say something like um, Yelp red hex collar I see that they have a style guide so it sounds like to me that they're going to have their collar here maybe 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 here it is primary collar copy that go back in here and this was done in the module so let's go to oops got to go into the individual one go here and then paste in the background color, great. Uh, what else can we do? One more, Twitter, go here, copy that, come back into our page settings. Okay, you'll get used to this. You'll do this and it'll be second nature. Okay, what else do we wanna put in there? Um, what's another good one? How about if we're using Yelp, let's do TripAdvisor, okay. All right, we get this little symbol which i'm not sure what it is offhand binoculars i don't know go here and copy the unicode come back in here paste that great looking good now we got to find the collar for that tripadvisor hex collar all right so we go to this brandcollars.net oh here we go you can just click on there wow that's handy okay and then go into the module and go to the one that's called um, Twitter <laughs> and then the background. All right, cool. And then, of course, you're going to want to link them. You know, you'd want to go in here and add, you know, the link right here to that site, to your Yelp account or whatever, and your TripAdvisor page. The basic process is that. So, again, just to reiterate, Add an icon that you don't really want, one of those that you're not going to be using. I think there's like 10 or so or 12 to pick from. And then match it up with this code snippet. So whichever one you pick here, it doesn't matter. If you're using MySpace, copy this one. And then just go and find the icon code that you want, either in my list here or over on, on Find Awesome website. And then you replace it with this number. And then you get your icons. And again, my little screenshot that you see in my thumbnail, um, I went through and, and did all these WhatsApp, Yelp, Snapchat, and I did all of them, you know, and found the hex collar. These are actual, these are actually in Divi. This is a Divi module, a screenshot of a Divi module. So this is really cool. I hope that you can put this to good use. And by the way, just as a reminder, use the theme builder, please. A lot of people are saying, well, I want to add icons to my header or my footer please use the theme builder. It's going to be a lot easier. That way you can add your module and you don't have to worry about the old, um, the way Divi has their settings in 
uh, the theme um, options for icons, that's going to all be depreciated before you know it. So just start using the theme builder and you'll thank me later. All right, so that's how you install all kinds of extra icons in Divi in the social media module. If you enjoyed that, be sure to share it around with some friends, some people who are asking in the Facebook groups. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a ton of content related to Divi coming up here every single week. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video.